we shall discuss here about metallic bonds. Metal atoms have very few valence electrons. Such as copper has only one valence electron. Silver has only one valence electron. Aluminium has only three valence electrons. Iron has only two valence electrons, etc. The valence electrons in the metal are attached to the atoms loosely. These valence electrons can easily be released from parent atom to join a common pool. The remaining part of the atom becomes positive iron. The valence electrons contributed from each of the metal atoms form an electron gas in interatomic metallic structure. This negative electron gas produces a force of attraction on the positive metal ions. In this way all ions in a metal piece bounded together. This typical type of bonding is called metallic bonding. The valence electrons released from the parent atoms form the electron gas of free electrons. The mobility of free electrons is high. Because of plenty of these free electrons, a metal conduct electricity and heat very easily. That is why metals are normally very good electrical and thermal conductors. Moreover, since electrons can absorb radiation energy of light, such bonds also have opaque electrical properties. Depending upon the attractive force between electron gas and positive ions, the metallic bond strength varies over a wide range. The hardness of a specific metal depends on the strength of metallic bonds. As the ions can move without breaking the district bonds, the metals can be deformed without affecting the overall strength of the materials. That means, Every bit of the deformed metal is as strong as the original one. This is the basic reason of metal plasticity and ductility. That is why a metal can be fabricated to any form of shape using various shaping processes. Hope you got a basic idea of metallic bonds. Thank you.